Less than a week remains in the election countdown. KTVO's Maddie Lee has the latest on early voting in Southeast Iowa and why it's being encouraged. Have you hit the polls yet? While well, election day isn't until November 5th, thousands of Iowans have already cast their vote in the 2024 election. Let's take a look at those early voting numbers in Southeast Iowa. According to the Secretary of State's absentee ballot statistics, as of October 30th, 1,814 Democratic ballots and 1,654 Republican ballots have been received in Wablo County. Davis County has received 327 Democratic ballots and 679 Republican ballots. The Jefferson County Auditor's Office reports 1,872 Democratic ballots and 1,099 Republican ballots so far. In Van Buren County, the Auditor's Office has received 854 early and absentee ballots, but could not specify how many are from each party. Appanoose County has reported 1,988 ballots in total, but they also could not separate them by party. Based on the Secretary of State's statistics, it appears a majority of votes cast have been in person or at the counter. Personally, I prefer to vote early because it gets my ballot directly. I vote early in person, so it gets my ballot directly to the auditor's office. I know there's no, no gap there. Howard adds that early voting reduces stress on election day and helps campaigns connect with voters who still haven't cast their ballots. As a poll worker, she appreciates how early voting streamlines the process. So they can smooth them out, run them through the machines more quickly. Mm -hmm. They validate, of course, the signature on the, on the envelope to match the voter file. So there are a number of reasons to vote early. The Wapolo County Democrats echo the call for early voting, saying, quote, We know there is keen interest and strong feelings about this election. In order to avoid long lines or avoid delays with same-day voter registration, voters would be wise to vote early. In Atumwa, Maddie Lee, KTVO News.